You are the last man in the world whom I could ever marry. Do you think that any consideration would tempt me? Your arrogance, your conceit, and your selfish disdain for the feelings of others. My opinion of you was decided when I heard Mr. Wickham's story of your dealings with him. Well, at least in that I may defend myself. Could you expect me to rejoice in the inferiority of your connections? To congratulate myself on the hope of relations whose condition in life is so decidedly below my own? You are mistaken, Mr. Darcy. The mode of your declaration merely spared me the concern I might have felt in refusing you had you behaved in a more gentlemanlike manner. Who's there, Miss Reed? Darcy, we've quite despaired of... Is that my nephew? Where have you been? Let him come in and explain himself. No. You'll forgive me. You'll forgive me. Darcy, you were unwell? I'm very well, thank you, but I have a pressing matter of business. You'll forgive me. Make my apologies to Lady Catherine Fitzwilliam. Miss Elizabeth Bennett. Be not alarmed, madam, on receiving this letter, that it contain any repetition of those sentiments or renewal of those offers which were, this evening, so disgusting to you. But I must be allowed to defend myself against the charges laid at my door. In particular, those relating to Mr. Wickham, which, if true, would indeed be grievous, but are wholly without foundation and which I can only refute by laying before you his connection with my family. Mr. Wickham is the son of a very respectable man who had the management of our family estates and my own father was fond of him and held him in high esteem. now free from all restraint, his life was one of idleness and dissipation. How he lived, I know not. But last summer, our paths crossed again under the most painful circumstances, which I myself would wish to forget. My sister, Georgiana, who is more than 10 years my junior, was left to the guardianship of Colonel Fitzwilliam and myself. About a year ago, she was taken from school. The secondary motive must have been to revenge himself on me. Had he succeeded, his revenge would have been complete indeed. This, madam, is a faithful narrative of all my dealings with Mr. Wickham. <laughs> 